Okay, I think I'm in the live now. Um, hi guys, my name is Maria. I'm from Bravo Soccer Studio, and today we will uh, work with our um, warm up stretching hoops. And for hoops, uh, uh, we will work like last 10 uh, 15 minutes. Uh, if you don't have a hoops, just stay with us uh, when we're doing stretching and warm up. We'll start dancing warm up and uh, mix with jumping. And if you're ready, we're gonna start. And we start with dance movement. We just do a circle with our rest and walking at the same time. And guys, let me know how the sound system and how the your video, all settings. We also we <laughs> try to experiment every class, and hopefully we'll improve someday with our setting system. We just move our hips uh, side to side, walk forward, walk backwards, forward, move your hips, walk backwards, forward, and around. Good job. And big set, side to side. And make a circle with your hips. You move forward and backward. Okay, good job. You just move side to side. And stretch on the side. Go down. Stretch. And down. Okay, make a circle with your toes. And grab your hands together over your head and make a circle with your hands good job awesome shake your legs, shake your hands and move two hands forward two hands backwards hold your up and down Nice, and we're gonna jump, two legs together, small jump, side to side, forward back, running, around yourself, reach different direction, two jumps on one leg and reach. Good job. And running. Round yourself. Switch. And half side to side. Forward back. Awesome. Running. Bend your knees tippy toe. Bend your knees tippy toe. Bend your knees tippy toe. And jump. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Take your legs, shake your hands, and your hands forward. We start slow and we're gonna do faster and backward. Slow and fast. Jump. And elbows. Let's make a bridge close and open. And different direction. Also, gonna do a circle with our knees and switch. And switch your leg. Circle with your knees inside, then out. 
try to keep balance. Awesome. Yes. Take big step and bend your knees from side to side. And one goes up and another one. Two. Two heels up, up and down. Awesome. Nice, good job. We your legs together and we're gonna just use something to hold yourself. It can be chair, sofa, and kick forward and back. Forward and back. Relax your leg. You're just kicking. And now we're gonna do five times. Use our muscles to bring our leg up and down. And switch. Move forward and back. And five times. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. And we're gonna do a kick and clap. One, two, big kick. Three, four, five, and switch. One, two, three, four, five. Lock your hands behind your back. Bring your hands up and down. Side to side. From side to side, up and down. Good job. Okay, big step, bend your knees. One, two. Good job, bring your legs together. We're gonna Rotation, your knees, and then Bring your bum up and down. Push your knees. Left hand. Oh, stand up. Rooting so So, hands fall down. Elbows, shoulder, heels, head. Tammy, bump on the floor, everything on the floor, and slowly, it's so tall, hands go down, elbows, shoulder, heels, head, Tammy, bump on the floor, awesome, good job guys, then take a quick break, water break, and sit down on the floor. If you're ready, sit down on the floor and we start this butterfly like we usually do. Bring our legs up and down. You're gonna fly in your magic secret place. Okay, I'll open this message from. Okay, okay, guys, let me know if this music is so loud or so quiet or my microphone microphone working not well or uh, something wrong with the video. And we are flying, move forward, move backward, forward, backward. Okay, night time we are sleeping, everyone goes to sleep. I'm working on stretching and flying again. So now I'm gonna stretch again, you guys. I think, guys, if you have a pet, every time when you start stretching, there's something around and wants to be close to you. Ah, nice time we're sitting. Day time, we're waking up, stretching and flying again. Move your legs up and down. Okay, we ready to grab uh, our feet. Bring your hands in the opposite position to each other. And we're gonna move our hands down, open and hold. One, two, three, four, and switch. Remember guys, if it's maximum, your maximum there, just hold 
in this position. I try slowly push a little bit more. And switch. Hold one, two, three, four. And switch. One, two, three, four. Try to hold, move a little bit away more your leg. Awesome. Okay, then make sure you have an empty spot between us in front of you and behind you and we just open two legs slowly open two legs hold the balance one two three four five if you can bring your legs in a straight position you can still have a balance with the bending legs and go back let's take deep breath and we're gonna try again Okay, let's try. Hold the balance, open the leg. And then when I open my leg, I push my back a little bit forward. It helps me to keep balance. Nice, good job, awesome. And we slowly bring our legs together and hold your hands behind your back. Close. And go back. We are gonna be together and go back. And last time. Awesome. Let's bring our leg forward a uh, little bit higher side and slowly together. Up higher on the side and together. Don't put your legs on the floor. Try hold all time. And switch. And last two times. Good. Bring your legs together. I just sit on a side that you can see me better. But if you want, you can still be in the same position. Bring your heels up a little bit. We are doing flex. Your toes looking at you, and now your toes, you're pushing your toes close to the floor. Point and flex. Point and flex. At the same time, our muscles, our abs will change. And we try to sit with a nice straight back. This is not a really good position. When we're bending our back, we have to open our back. And almost every muscle on your mouth, on your body is working right now. Push down, flex, point, point, flex. Okay, awesome. Bend your knees and I'm gonna walk her. Feel free, bring your heels up if you can. If you not keep maximum weight. You can handle the pain. I know it's gonna be painful, but we're just gonna um, practice and wait when the pain goes away. Bring back and we walk forward. Bring your heels up and back. Good job. Okay, now we're holding our. Toes in a flex position, bringing your hands close to and up. Close and open. Remember that we have a fire on your feet and it's so hot we wanted to move our hands so quickly. Close and open. Close and open. Close and open. Bring your back straight. And last time. Awesome. Now we have a spider. Spider is gonna run and jump. Run and jump. You can keep your um, toes in the point position. <laughs> run and jump. And jump. Good job. And now just put your hands on your knees uh, and try move your uh, back forward and back. And try put your tummy on your legs. 
The closest you can be to your legs, the better for your stretching. And you can move, put your hands close on the floor and move forward and back. And last three times. And try to grab your um, feet and hold in this position. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. At the same time, we're pushing down our knees. Okay? And we're ready to do open position. From here, we're gonna open and move yourself a little bit forward. Go back and close. Open, move forward and go back. Let's do 10 times. This is Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Okay, we we'll move a little bit forward. That you're not sitting on the bum. You're more sitting on your uh, on your legs. Mm -hmm. And now you can play with your toes too. Point and flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, and flex. Awesome. Gonna lay down on the side and hold a little bit. Move forward. Try to feel comfortable in this position. I know um, you probably feel that your muscle is tight sometimes. Or sometimes you feel pain or uncomfortable in this pose, but uh, when you when often you do, the less you will have a pain or a comfortable feeling. But if you hold a little bit yourself in this position, you will feel more comfortable. And one can see your leg your stretching too. More deeper you're going to be in this position, better stretching you will have. Okay, open your back, let's put you in a nice position, bring your hands side to side, and then slowly move your hands close to your ear, another hand in front of yourself. And we're gonna try to reach your leg. Just if you can, you can grab the leg. If you not, just hold it yourself in this position. One, two, three. And we will switch. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Awesome! Okay, you can move a little bit side to side. Okay, then we will lay down on the floor. We now open our legs up and down ten times. Three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Open your legs and we're gonna bend and straight. One, two, 
you can play with your toes. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and now push your legs down as much as you can, or someone can push your legs too. One, two, three, four, five. And you can bring yourself a little bit forward from that. Let's three times. Push, push. A little bit more. Nice. Knee goes to the knees. Nice. Okay, we're gonna stretch. Oh, I think. Yeah, we will um, stand on our knee. Stretch our hips. We need to stretch our hips now. Open your legs and your knee and your bum make one line. Make sure you're not moving too much forward like this or too much backward. Should be a straight line with your knee and your bum. Okay. Left. And left leg down up. To be forward and back. Come. And we'll slowly and all together. And up on your legs. Take it. Take a big step. We're gonna clap between your legs. And your other leg. Jumps on the floor. And then you're ready guys for the flip. The whole 20 seconds. Just make sure it hits maximum here there. Falls there. Try to relax. I'm gonna go a little bit lower. And I'm gonna count 20 seconds. One, two, three. Should be straight line. And try to turn a little bit out your knees, your toes. And you can hold in a point position or in a flat position. Or sometimes you can go more stretch and hold in a point position or in a flat. Depends what kind of muscles you have been straight more. Just a little bit more. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome! Okay, and we have to relax our hips, move our your legs inside and outside, inside and outside, inside and out. So we, if you're ready to stretch right and left leg, I'm just gonna quickly grab my blocks and side. I probably have a little bit more stretching with the blocks and you can do on a block. Bring your right leg forward. Other and um your leg on the back should be standing on your knee too and push your hips down. Your other knee have to be, have a 90 degree here straight and push your hips down, don't open your hips. The hips should be square. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna open and move up and down. One, two, three, four. Go to deeper position and hold. Five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Move forward. Push your hips down. Just a little bit. Open your leg. Make sure you're not sitting. Your keep your bum. Um, and we move up and down. One, two, three, four, five. And gonna go lower go to the left. Both cigarette and hold. Awesome. Bring your leg in front of yourself. Put down. 
can open this a bit more and lay down on your legs. If you don't feel stretching in this position, you can open your left leg a bit more. I can be close to the floor. Good. And then, bend and straight your knees. Let's do five times. One, two, three, four, five. Grab your heel, bring your foot right to the tall of the feet. Awesome. And let's stretch our uh, left leg first, then we're gonna hold two split. And the same we will do with left leg. Push your hips down, keep your hips square. This is not the correct way to do it. You have to move your feet inside and push your hips down. And open your knees. And then do five times one, three, four, five, and just fold. Try to be uh, as much as possible close to your legs. Bend your knees, open and close. It just helps a little bit more relaxed when you're moving forward and back. Now the fold. Open, go down one, two, three, four, five. And the hold. One and last time we're gonna do that. Press and press. And open. Hold on. One, two, five. Bend to your leg, bring your leg in front of yourself, make a little bit open more, to feel more stretching, lay down on your leg, Sit close to the floor. Good, now we're gonna bend and straight, one, two, three. Four, five, and go to left. All your back, moving forward and back. Good. Now, time to hold the splits. And relax, try to get your hips to hold the inside and outside to your knees. Okay. So I'll show you your position, then I'm gonna use my blood. We just bring the leg forward, make sure your hips not looking this way. They're supposed to look the same way with your leg. You have to keep your hips square. Now open, this is if you your maximum gonna hold in this position. Your hands should be between your legs. And let's go. Hold 20 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Make sure your hips looking inside. Do not open it. This is not correct. Like, you have to move your hips. Square. Look forward. Every time when you're on a split, check your position. It should be the right way to do. It's not important how deep you're going. More important how um, straight you're sitting on the place. For this one, we have to keep our hips square. Also, and let's do this thing with our legs. Okay, let's go. 
bring your legs flat forward, stand on your knees, slowly open your left leg, your hands between your legs, and choose your maximum position where you can, you can hold, where you can handle the pain, and try to breathe and go deeper slowly. 20 seconds you're gonna hold. 1, 2, 3, 4, keep some tight. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 14, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Awesome, guys. Good job. So I relax your hips. We have 20 seconds. I'm gonna hold the, every class until we feel comfortable. Five, five seconds more or ten seconds more. Good job. And we will start working on our back. If you need to take a um, water break, you can go quickly take water break. Maybe not. That's ready to do cat position. We will open and push back. The cat, right? Push down, push your waist down, and push your back. Open, close, open, close. Good cat, bad cat. Good cat. Walk your knees a little bit. Open, and you can hold on side to side. Dog or cat, cat or tail, and the most time dogs. Sometimes they move so quickly with their tail. I'm running there, excited. And we're gonna bring our legs open and close. Try to bring your knees to your head and open. At the same time, your leg going up and your head going up. Ready? Close, open. One, two, three. Four, five, good job, and switch. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then lay down on your legs. Fall to the floor. Take a deep And we're going to lay close to the floor. And knees. One more time. Snake. Uh, put your hands up and then move a little bit uh, behind and forward. One, two, three, four, and switch. One, two, three, four. Awesome. Then we try to do swing. We're gonna move our legs and hands. First of all, I'll start with my legs. Then I push myself and I start move my hands. Let's try it. Flex, hands, flex, hands. Good. Grab your flex. Now open and hold. Open and hold. One, two, three, four, five hundred. Let's do one more time. And forward and back. Yeah. Also, you can lay down in the back and start holding the bridge. Bring your feet close to your branch. Lift your hands and be ready to do bridge. One more time. If you're ready, push yourself up.
We also can practice to move our weight from the hands to left and uh, from the left to hands. And we try, I'm trying walking and bring legs up and down. It's also to feel comfortable standing on a bridge. And this is uh, exercise prepare us for standing. If you don't feel comfortable to do that, just hold the slip and lay down. And uh, second time, I will stand at the end of the um, holding the bridge. And if you don't feel comfortable, don't stand. And if you have someone to spot you, uh, you can try. But if uh, you never stand before and you just by yourself, don't try. I think it's not really safe to try by this one. You can fall down, but uh, we can try in a class. I can spot you in a class. Now you just can hold and lay down. And try to move a little bit forward back. Bring your hands up and down and left. And let's try one more time. Also, you can try bend your hands. And now we will just relax a little bit. Try to control. Yes, thank you. Come back. And you can just feel like the whole your head. It's halfway when you do fall backwards. We just we try the same like when we bring our legs over the head, we try all yourself the same way. And we will try to practice roll forward and backwards. Like usually we do three times forward, three times backwards. I will do slow first time, backwards and forward, and then two times I will do fast. Make sure you will you bring your hands close on the crash mat, you bring bump up, and guys, not put your head on the top. Try to put your head on more on the back that you can roll it. If you put on the top, you sometimes like falling down like this, do not troll yourself. Okay, ready? Let's do it. We did three times, roll it forward and backward, and now we'll try to do cartwheel. This is preparation for car. Bring your right leg forward, and hands we're gonna put on the right side. If you, we will do on the left side, we have to bring our left leg forward and put our hands on the left side. Make sure you're not gonna twist. Right leg, right side. Okay, let's start. Preparation for cartwheel. Right leg forward and down. Move your legs on the other side. And the same with the left side. Left leg forward, hands on the left side. Like this. Okay, I have to move my cat. Because I'm gonna do big crawl. A uh, big curl. Are you not happy with that? Okay, let's sit down on my couch, my yoga mat.
Okay, there are no way that you're gonna move your cat. Okay, there's a bit more space I now I have. Bring your hands up, right leg forward, and we're gonna put a right on the right side of your hand. Two, three. And the same on the left side. My favorite side, right side, and usually I do better on the right side. And but I also practice to do on the both way that my muscle is gonna develop on the same time, the same side. Um, the same, yeah. Okay, let's try to do curl. Right side and left side. Sometimes I'm scared to kick their my sticks around. And okay, we practice curl left and right side three times. Now we can go take a quick clear, uh, water break. Then we're gonna do work with our hoops, with our props. Ribbons and juggling balls if you have a time. I will move away my yoga mark that I'm not gonna use anymore. You have a good stretching. And guys, if you stretch with me, you did a really good job. And also, it help you to wake up, help you to open yourself. And make sure guys you drink a lot of water during the like during the day. It's not necessarily during the stretching. It helps your muscle to be more flexible. Okay, we will start this whoop. Okay. I just check in time. We have our 15 minutes left. Hold hoop in front of yourself. Do a step. Two steps and move around. One, two, and move around. Like this. Two legs. Jump and move around. And we can do quickly. Mm -hmm. Just transition between tweaks. Just walk around. One, two. You can move your shoulder forward, back, forward, back, and switch. Or heat, whatever uh, your style, whatever dance you want to put there, you can use it. Okay, then we will practice twist. Hold on the side, move in front of yourself, put your hoops down, and move around. One. Two, three, four, five. And the same with left hand. Move around yourself in front of you. Yourself. Pull down halfway. And move over your head. Three, and move. And then we're gonna practice figure eight. Bring your hands down on the right side and then, I mean, if you have the hoop on the right side, we're moving on the left side. And I move away my shoulder, so it's gonna be more space for my hoop. Down and up. Hold it on the side, bring down and up. When you feel comfortable to do this one, you can switch with the left hand. And do the same with left, the same side. Slowly push down and bring up, down and up. Then, uh, if you have a two hoops and you want to practice with two, you can practice two at the same time. One close, the second close. Bring up one and second. Down, down, up, up. Down, down, up, up. And I move my shoulder to give more space to the hoop. 
I'm gonna practice this faster so it'll look like this. And one hoop running a uh, little bit faster than another one and another one it feels like this. It's like another one wants to follow the first one. Okay, then we will practice uh, spin on the back. And you can check my short video how to spin on the back. This is a great uh, video to just practice this one trick. We uh, grab the hook, put your hook close to the back and push as much as you can and make a small circle with your hips. If it feels hard to make a small circle, you just can push side. I'll keep my legs together. Side to side, forward back, forward back. If there way will work when you're pushing your hook, try to keep your legs together. First of all, we're not gonna use our legs, but we keep our legs together. Secondly, if we're gonna use multiple hooks on your body, spinning multiple hooks, it will help you to learn properly how to do. And we move it around, switch different directions. Every time I if I spin one direction, I also try to spin another one. Okay, then we will do the little bit harder one from here. Hold the vertical position. You halfway outside. Bring your hands. Reach inside. Outside and inside. And behind your back, you will put your hands lower here. Make it a bit lower than first one. Outside, switch inside. This one little bit hard. I also will um, do video how to do that, a little bit more explanation of that, then now we, not, now we don't have a lot of time. And, here to go. and if it's going to quicker, it's look like this. Okay, then a little bit easier one, we just switch it from here to there. So yeah. You wanna be in a video too, right? Okay, switch from here, behind, put your hand inside. Make sure you're not grabbing like this. This is not correct way to do You have to put your hands inside, then switch. Inside, then switch. And you can move around yourself. And one more spin on your knees. We're gonna bring your hose a little bit uh, higher than your knee, a little bit lower than your bum. Hold parallel to the floor. You push your hook and you're gonna bend and straight. Like this or bring your heels up and down. Sometimes you can use one leg, but most of, most of the time try to do the same and keep your legs together. Try to do use two legs. And push and it will take a little bit more time to feel it when you need to push. And when you more practice, you will get this one. Okay. Awesome. And now we practice spinning forward. Make sure you have a in front of yourself safe spot if your hoop fly away. Grab your hoop, move halfway, open your hand like this and you spin spinning between your thumb and other finger here you're gonna do small circle sometimes you can you can see that people spinning like this my students sometimes spinning like this it's fine but if you're gonna learn how to do it on your hand move like this forward you have a more control you can Grab it, you can do some trick, you can start spinning again. There are more control of your foot. Good. And one more I will show you quickly. Um, we just learn from here to there. You, let's start bring your hook close to your belly button. Like this way. Inside and move outside. This one a little bit harder, 
also we have to practice separate from this video from this live class I know some of you already know how to do it this is why we I'm gonna show you if you not don't know how to do it it's okay guys just uh, just practice what you can and let's do performance Okay, um, I will find the music for the performance. Let's see, sick. This one. Okay, oh, just in one sec. I will find a little bit slower. Ah, uh, this one probably will work. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's on the tippy toes. Work around, walk around your hoop. In circle. Now it's gonna jump. And spin your hoop. and try to walk on a tippy toe and twist one two three four and the great one two three four five. round yourself round the inside in on your knee, circle, grab your hook, and stop there. You can practice spinning a little bit, and you're good, guys. Good job. Grab your ribbon if you have. If you don't have it, you skip this part. Just bring your ribbon up and down. One, two. Up and down. Try to hold your stick almost at the end. And down, up and stick, up and stick. Big circle, one, two, and switch. Big circle, two steps. Bringing your ribbon up and down a little bit and turn around to the side. Great, walk forward on the tippy toes. Work backwards, side to side, backwards, circle with your hands, grab the end, and almost there, nice position, and smile. Okay, guys, let's quickly check the time. Okay, we have a few minutes to practice how to juggle. We'll bring the box. Okay, um, we'll grab two balls. We're gonna practice with one, throw it and uh, throw it and catch. Just give me one sec. Wait my music. Okay, we can throw the balls and check. Throw it and check. Throw it and catch. Sorry. Throw it and catch. But just two hands. We use two hands. Now we'll walk a little bit away there. One and two. We use two hands to throw it and catch. Throw it and catch. Okay, halfway, we're gonna throw it from the right to left. Half, we do half circle and throw it through the center. Half circle and throw it through the center.
hot circle and throw. You can start walk a little bit forward from back to get the ball like this. All back. Half circle and throw through the center. Just practice and feel when you feel comfortable, you can grab the second one. And with two balls. A common mistake there, guys. <laughs> um, everyone try to throw the same time. Try to now throw it one, then wait one second and throw the second one. One, wait one second, second one. One and two. One and two. And we are ready to do uh, our upward. Okay. And we work a little bit on our muscles, and we're almost done for today. Okay, sit down on the floor. We're gonna do bicycle. Sonia, can you do bicycle? And scissor. And bicycle. And scissor. And bicycle. Okay. Don't put your leg on the floor. Keep your leg. Gonna push yourself down and up. One, two, three, four, five. Now bring up, up and down. Then you straighten and back. Okay, we're running. Good hard. And we will do frog down five times. One, two, Three, four, five, and we will just start down five. One, two, three, four, five. Take your hands, shake your legs. Keep it toe and stand, keep it toe. Good job, awesome guys. And we will finish for today. Like and subscribe. I will see you in next class. Uh, it's gonna be on Thursday. Stay, stay safe and healthy. See you next time.